Good morning, everybody. Another one. Roll around the corner. Here we are. It's Friday. We're going home after this today. Getting old blue ready here. I slept at the Esso Husky in Morris, Manitoba. It's about 30 minutes north of the border up I-29 uh, in Canada. This is on Highway 75. Turns into I-29 at the border down there. I'm gonna make sure old blue's all ready to go here. And then we're gonna go drop off this trailer that I have in Winnipeg. And bobtail to Brandon, Manitoba. And from Brandon, uh, just gotta pick up a trailer there, bring it back to Winnipeg, drop it off. And then we get to go home. straightforward easy day just sort of running around almost almost sort of doing errands in southern Manitoba All right, it's time to leave this trailer here I forgot the crank is on the passenger side it's always weird when they do it that way What are you doing on this side, bud? What are you doing over here? Hoping to be 
be home for supper tonight. We'll see what happens. I've already got my uh, load lined up for Monday morning and Tuesday morning. So I've got the, the beginning of next week already lined up. So I'm gonna get home as soon as I can so I can enjoy my weekend. I've never pulled these turnpikes before. It'd be fun to do it once or twice. I don't know if I'd want to do it like all the time, every day. It's a lot of work. But I'm guessing that the, the pay has got to be better, right? Because you're, you're pulling two fully loaded 53-foot trailers. And in Canada, you can put, you can have a gross weight on your unit of just one trailer. Like it was just this front trailer of about 87,500 pounds. So you can put about 50, 55,000 pounds in the trailer, depending on how heavy the trailer is. So you're looking at like this truck here, pulling probably upwards of 100,000 pounds on a regular basis, back and forth, back and forth. Which, in my opinion, if you're gonna buy a truck, don't buy one that's been pulling these turnpikes every day. Also, don't be uh, buying trucks that have been pulling Super Bs every day either. Same thing, hauling a lot of weight on a regular basis, very hard on the equipment. I wouldn't recommend buying those trucks, but you know, so someone's gotta buy them. You'd hope that the price would reflect the, the work and the wear and tear that they've uh, got on them. economy has got to be terrible. Cheaper than sending out two trucks though, I guess. So this is the trailer that I brought here to Winnipeg. It's heavy. Got a triaxle for a reason. It was really heavy. This whole trailer's gotta be like 55,000. Well, not 55,000. The equivalent of putting 55,000 on a trailer. It was heavy. <laughs> I don't have the words for it. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. So it's some sort of uh, like office trailer or something has a big diesel tank here on the side, like massive. Like look how big that tank is. Look how big that tank is compared to compared to my tanks, right? It's huge. It's like a missile silo. And what's interesting about this is it has a crank on each individual dolly. So I put this side down. I've got to go put that side down now. <laughs> it's a heavy duty trailer. Easy day. All done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get my trailer ready for Monday. So that on Monday I can just quickly hook up, zip over to Kenora, and I don't gotta worry about getting anything ready then. I'll, I'll do a pre-trip on it now. I'll do another pre-trip on Monday, obviously. But uh, this way, if there's any problems, I can identify them now and not have to worry about being delayed Monday morning. This is my buddy Trevor in front of me here. He was also at the same place. That's right, flip-flops. I'm officially out of the truck and home for the weekend.
I'm allowed to. <laughs> we should talk about flip-flops, though. Some people need a reminder that you should not be wearing flip-flops outside your truck at the, at the fuel stations. But that's one way to get judged on the road. You know, we're not supposed to judge other people, right? But if you get out of your truck at any time with flip-flops on, believe me, you're better off. Just get some good work boots. Get some good work shoes. Put those on your feet. It just gives a very unprofessional appearance. And when you're at uh, shippers and receivers, obviously uh, you need to be wearing steel toe safety boots and shoes anyways. Flip-flops are for when you're at home, not working, or at the beach, or at the campground, or just anything not to do, having to do with trucking. Flip-flops have no business being around semi-trucks. Let me tell you that right now. So Myrtle out here is doing pretty good. Getting a lot of hot weather and it's growing pretty good. Look at this. The branches on the bottom here are already touching the ground. So that's good. You can literally see the growth. Fantastic. Hopefully it keeps going that way. We've got a wasp nest being built underneath there and I'm going to be taking care of that in a future video. I've already taken care of it but I made a video out of it and I want to save that experience for that video because it was kind of fun. I didn't know what to expect but uh, obviously I'm still alive so spoiler alert I didn't die. I'm filming this end clip a little bit in the future. But I made it home. Uh, I got one more week. Oh, well not even a week. I got three more days before my holidays officially begin. And I will, uh, I'll let you guys know right now, because I'm an honest man, I am filming this end of day during my vacation. I didn't actually, I, I'm doing some catch up on my videos right now, and I didn't film an end of day for this vlog, so I'm doing, for, doing it for you now. That's another reason I've got my flip flops on. I'm on vacation, I'm allowed. <laughs> it just, uh, it, it, it almost makes you cringe when you're at a truck stop and you see someone get out of their truck in flip-flops. It's like, mm, first of all, at the fuel pumps, there's a lot of like, there could be spills, there could be oil slicks, there could be anything, just even water, wet pavement. Flip-flops are quite dangerous when getting out of your truck. They don't provide the same traction. You could slip, you could fall. Uh, anything could fall on your toes, breaking your toes, hurting yourself. You should be wearing steel toe shoes. But don't listen to me, I guess. Uh, you do you. But if you are going to listen to me, take my advice right now. Leave your flip-flops at home when you go out on the road. There's no reason for you to have them in the truck with you at all. You don't need them. We're professionals, right? I don't know. Let me know down below if you agree with me or not. I've got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of vlogs coming to you yet from last week. And we start on our holidays. And on Thursday, I went to uh, Large Car Truck Spa. Made a video there. I've got to put it together yet. That's coming in the next few days for you. The day after that, we had the PBX Truck Show. Okay, so for me, that's already happened. And I want to tell you, it was a... Uh, an amazing experience, a great success. They didn't hold anything back. They went above and beyond, and they they put on a really great show for the community and a really good community <coughs> community event. Excuse me. They were also uh, celebrating the grand opening of their new cafe in Blumenor called Grampus Cafe. It's in honor of their dad, uh, the owner's dad right now, who started PBX. And as you know, that's the only place I authorize to work on my truck. So I have a good business relationship with them as well. And it was nice to meet them on a more personal level at an event like this and sort of kick back and relax with them and uh, you know, talk about other stuff than trucking while still being surrounded by trucks. It was a, it was a really great experience. I'd say there was, well, there was about 750 people there just for the lunch. And then the show started after that. The concert happened in the evening. There was well over a thousand people there. I'd say 1,500, 2,000 people. And uh, Blumenort's a small town. It's a pretty small town, so that was a really good turnout for that. And I'm happy for them. You know, they deserve that. Uh, they've built up an incredible business. And they've been a pillar in the community for my whole life. Growing up, I always knew about them there. So, uh, good experience. Something for you to look forward to in the vlogs. And then there's also another vlog after that of me removing a, a wasp nest. Uh, which was interesting and a learning experience. But as you can see... Uh, 
I came out of it unscathed. Mostly. <laughs> That's all videos coming up in the next week for you to look forward to. And then I have a few weeks of holidays, or a couple weeks of holidays. We're going fishing and getting a lot of work done here in the yard. So, yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. The videos are going to keep coming. And sorry for the delay. There was a little bit. I got behind a little bit there. And the truck show and truck wash took two days out of my schedule where I didn't have any time to edit. But I'll, make, I'll make up for it. I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. I got to put this together for you now so you can watch it. <laughs>